guys, it's Sifa. Um, get some light in here. It's not going to work. Oh, well. So I wanted to um, just give you guys kind of like an update about like what's going on in my life right now. And then I wanted to talk about um, forgiveness and uh, guilt. So, and they kind of go together because it's kind of like a lesson that I'm learning right now is about forgiveness and guilt. So let me just um, kind of talk about what's been going on, I guess. So, maybe about a couple months ago, my mother was, or maybe three months ago actually, it's been a while, my mother was diagnosed with breast cancer. Um, and we didn't know how bad it was, you know, and I was really scared. But at, at first I like, I didn't really think about it a lot because I've never really gotten along very well with my mom. And I've had so many feelings of like hatred towards her that I didn't really think about it a lot when she was first diagnosed. And I kind of just like pushed it all inside of me and tried to ignore it, I guess. And then um, I ended up losing my job uh, here in New Orleans. I lost my job in a really shitty way that I couldn't really control. And um, and I was just kind of stuck here not, not doing anything and having my mom being sick. And then, and then I started getting depressed. And I, I haven't really been depressed in a while, like in, in, a, in, a, in a long time now. So it, it was kind of scary and I was very depressed and um, I didn't know why I was so depressed. I didn't know what the problem was. And then I um, started hurting myself again. I, um, I hurt myself a about three or four times and I had no clue what was going on. I just, I thought that I was just spiraling out of control and I had no idea what was going on. And then I finally realized that, like, that, like, I started thinking about my mom and, like, our relationship growing up. And basically, like, to make it, to keep it a short story, what happened is that when I was 13 years old, um, my mother was, was in a car crash and was brain injured. And she had a brain injury that made her kind of, like, into a child. And she became very rude and selfish and self-absorbed and abusive and, you know... And it was really hard for me dealing with that at such a young age. And so I kind of grew to hate her and I began treating her very cruelly and, um... I really treated her like shit. And, um, I mean, she treated me like shit too, but, but looking back on it, like, I'm realizing that, like, I never really thought about, like, what she was going through at the time. Because she had a brain injury, and she couldn't, like, read or write or, like, talk correctly or anything. And, like, she couldn't, like... And I'm just, I just kind of put myself in her shoes, and I was like, you know what, she was going through a shitty time, and, like... And I, I was riddled with this intense guilt. And I realized that, like, in my teenage years, after the car crash, that what I did is I, I made my father the good parent, and I made my mother the bad parent. And it was a coping mechanism to have some sense of sanity in my life and in my family because everyone fought so much and there were so many police calls and um, therapists and hospital stays and my life was so chaotic that I needed something to look up to. So I picked my dad as the good parent and my mom was the bad parent because of her brain injury and because of her childlike nature and stuff. And I didn't even realize that until my mom was diagnosed with breast cancer. I didn't even realize what I had done as a child and as an adult, you know. And so I, I realized that the reason I'd been hurting myself and the reason that I was depressed is because I was riddled with intense guilt. And I'm punishing myself. I'm punishing myself because of the way that I treated her and because of all the cruel things that I said and did to her. And I feel like a completely horrible, shitty person. And I'm starting to realize now that, like, you know, she's not going to be here forever. You know, she she's getting older. She, she's 62. And this is her second cancer in two years. And, like, I just wish that I had 
realize this sooner because it almost feels like it's too late. But everyone keeps telling me it's not too late, it's never too late. And so I have to find a way to forgive her for the shitty things that she did to me and to forgive myself for the shitty things that I did to her and to myself and to let go of this guilt. So what I've been doing is um, I've just been meditating I'll lie down, put on some music, and I'll lie down, close my eyes, and I'll just say, like, I forgive myself. I forgive. I forgive. I forgive. I forgive. And then I breathe in the love into my heart from the universe. I breathe the love into my heart, and I'm trying to let go of this guilt. And so I picture this like sooty substance inside of inside of me and when I breathe in I breathe in the light and the love and when I breathe out I breathe out the sootiness so I breathe in forgiveness and I breathe out the guilt so I'm breathing in the light and the forgiveness and I'm breathing out the guilt and the bad feelings and so that's the Buddhist way to do it I'm also um, practicing some witchcraft to help with it as well um, I know this isn't really your typical you know um, cure, but it's just something that I do for fun, so let me show you that a little bit. I'm sorry, my altar is like fucking disgusting right now. I really need to clean it. It's really kind of bad to have your altar so dirty. But this is a, uh, a Sagittarius candle that represents my mom, and this is an Aquarius candle that re represents me. And in the middle we have a uh, dressed uh, peace candle. So what I'm doing is that I lit these yesterday um, afternoon, and so as they burn down, I'm going to move them closer together towards the peace candle. And they'll take a few days to burn, so I'll just move them every day. I'll move them a little bit closer together. And then in the end, they'll all be together in, in the circle. I'll be burning together. And here I have a, um, an offering to my uh, ancestor, my grandfather, um, some beer and a cigarette, because that's what he liked. <laughs> and... Um, yeah, I think y'all have seen my altar before. That's my little spirit animal Pookie right there. And my friends and my dad. There's my tarot deck. My Grigri bag. But yeah, um, so just like, I, I guess what I wanted to say is like, if you're holding guilt in your heart, it's just gonna hurt you more. If you're trying to forgive yourself or forgive someone, let it out. Or it's just going to keep hurting you. There's no, there's no reason to hold on to guilt, or hold on to, 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 you know, ill will. Especially if it's towards yourself or towards someone else. So just try to let it go, and you can become free and happy again. That's what I'm trying to do for myself right now. If you guys want to share anything with me, um, let me know. I'm also going to do a Q and A video pretty soon. So if you have any questions that you want to ask me for my Q&A video, please comment them in the comments, and I might pick a few of those. Um, so yeah, I love you guys. Bye.